Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you guys go, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. In today's video, we are going to be swatching and reviewing the brand new Florisys Blooming Rouge Ultra Smooth Satin Liquid Lipsticks. They came out with three new shades and they have three other shades, so six in total. I'm going to be swatching all of them for you, talking about the formula and I'm also going to kind of compare it to another lip product that I've tried from them and kind of talk about the differences the key differences with those so if this is something that interests you then let's get started so these are the blooming rouge ultra smooth satin liquid lipsticks they come in six different shades they are supposed to be high impact color and luxurious satin finish in a single swipe these just released this past month I think only a couple of days ago so these are going to be liquid lipsticks that have that satiny velvety texture almost where it looks more hydrating on the lips it fills in those lip lines and it's supposed to stay hydrating throughout the day it says that they are formulated with highly flexible silicone elastomer gel and plant-based oils and they form an ultra smooth film and glide over lip lines for a subtle satin finish these are formulated with a blend of antioxidant rich ingredients which are supposed to moisturize and protect your lips against free radicals and they're supposed to be cloud soft and air light it says one swipe of lustrous color leaves a cloud soft plush feel on lips that dries down to a non-tacky non-drying oilless finish if you guys are not new here you would know that my favorite type of liquid lipsticks are going to be those air matte moussey whip like textured liquid lipsticks i really like the ones that don't fully dry down because i feel like they sit better on my lips they're more hydrating and i also find that they fill in all the little micro lip lines that i have and i want something that's going to make my lips look super blurred so when it comes to liquid lipsticks these are right up my alley so i was really excited to receive these and try these out so let's start off i want to show you guys the components here so we do have this soft matte finish it's a white soft matte and then you have the Florisys logo right on top there, if you can see that. And there's kind of a gradient here with their name and then it turns into a gradient and goes into that Florisys green blue shade that they're known for. And then you have the shades right on the bottom right there. It's a doe foot applicator, so pretty standard there. And you see the shade right there. And I'm gonna do a quick swatch right here for you guys. And here is the texture and formulation of this one right here. You can kind of see right there where it's a little piled up more how soft and like satiny this formulation looks so this one is going to be 401 which is true lotus and this one is described as a cool pink shade and let's go ahead and apply this one. Oh wow yeah that is really really soft it almost melts into your lips it does have quite a bit slip to it but it's also really, really lightweight. And even though I'm going in and doing full slice on my lips, it deposits just the right amount of product to where it looks blurred already without having to go in and like blur it further with your fingers. Typically that's what I'll do if I want like that blurred lip look. But this already kind of looks like I did that. This one is super pretty. This is the shade S401 True Lotus. I feel like my lips do look softened by this lip formulation. It kind of looks blurred or diffused. I like this shade. It is cool pink, but I also see a little bit of peachiness to it. So I feel like that makes it even more wearable for me and my medium skin tone. Typically with cool pinks, they can really wash me out. But because this like almost looks like it has a tint of peach to it, it really turns into a nice light nude. Okay, and then let's see how it removes. So it definitely stains the lips a little bit, but not too bad. I feel like that one came off pretty easily. Let's move on to the shade S501, which is Gentle Strength. And this one is a red with orange brown undertones. And I am so excited for this one. So this looks a little darker than I anticipated on the back of my hand. The doe foots I feel like look a lot darker than the color that's actually deposited. So let's go ahead and put this on the lips. <gasps> oh my goodness, that is so pretty. Do you guys see when this goes on how soft it looks? That feels so nice. When you press your lips together, they feel velvety smooth. 
Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this color. It looks like a muted reddish orange terracotta shade. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks super wearable because of this finish. It looks blurred. It looks like I've been wearing it all day and it kind of diffused itself out, but I just applied it. And truly, I feel like you can't go overboard with these. I feel like it gives you just the right amount of pigment to where it looks kind of like a soft cloud-like lip product. This is such a pretty formulation. I feel like with my look going on today, this color makes me look very sophisticated and like put together. These have really nice even pigmentation as well. There's still a little bit of a stain there. I feel like you could wear it like this and it still looks really pretty. For the sake of this video, I'm actually glad that this comes off so nicely. Okay, and next we have the shade S502, which is breathtaking Bordeaux, and it's described as a cool wine red. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Okay, that's so pretty. Okay, here is the shade Breathtaking Bordeaux. I'm truly impressed by this formulation, especially when it comes to this shade, mainly because I feel like when it comes to these darker, deeper, burgundy, reddish shades on me, it's always very difficult to get even pigmentation, but this one went on like a dream. I love how it truly just diffuses itself out. It really tones itself down with very minimal effort, so it gives you that gorgeous lived-in look, and with this shade, I don't feel like I'm seeing any patchiness at all. It looks like and felt like it deposited the pigmentation really evenly and even when I pressed my lips together I didn't have any sort of patching it kind of just distributed itself very evenly and that's impressive for me I veer away from darker shades mainly because they are just kind of more high maintenance than I'd like to wear you know like whenever it comes to a bold lip color I have to really really commit because it's going to take a lot of effort to keep up how nice it looks when it's first applied but I feel like this one even if it faded down it would still look really beautiful and it would apply onto itself really nicely so See, even this, after I wiped off the majority of it, it's still beautiful. Okay, let's get into these other shades right here. Now, I believe that these already existed within the collection, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you guys because I haven't personally tried these shades, so I want to show you what they look like on me if you're curious. We're going to go in with S145, which is the shade Red Lantern, and it's described as a scarlet red. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this a lot. <sighs> Yes. Oh my goodness, the shade. This is the orangey red shade of my freaking dreams. This is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of losing my mind right now because this is the most gorgeous orangey red shade that I think I've tried in a very long time. And truly, this satin formulation combined with this color match made in heaven oh my goodness this is so beautiful i love how diffused it looks i love how it looks toned down but also very sophisticated this kind of reminds me if you guys know of the trend movie lips this is really giving me movie lips but during a special occasion in the movie like where it looks like a lived in shade but it's like a pop of color but it's not too in your face out of place type of thing wow I am literally shook by this shade. <laughs> I love this. Yes. Immediately, yes. <laughs> Next, let's go in with S142, which is Red Bean, and this one is a cool mid-tone red. All right, here is the shade Red Bean. I think that this one is a very universally flattering red lip shade. If you're looking for something that has this formulation and it's also a red that's gonna look good on you, this one would be my pick. This is gonna make your teeth look very white and it's also gonna be a really nice pop of color whenever it comes to like photos and videos and stuff of that sort. And it's not a super intimidating red shade. I think that this is something that I would recommend to my friends that don't typically feel comfortable wearing a red shade, but they kind of want something like as an intro red, you know? So this one, for sure, it's gonna be that all-encompassing red shade. All right, lastly in this collection, we have S140, which is gonna be Phoenix, and this one is described as a berry red. 
Okay, here is the shade Phoenix. Now this one I would say is a step up from that previous shade that I said was gonna be the universally flattering red shade. I think this one is also going to be a universally flattering red shade. It does have a little bit more of that blue-based red to it. And this one is going to be a touch darker. So I would say that if you're going for something a little bit more dramatic, this would be a really good option for you. Again, it has that beautiful diffused look and it's kind of like that toned down red, not too in your face, but definitely a statement lipstick. Okay, I put the shade S145 Red Lantern back on because how could I not? Okay, so first impressions on these lipsticks. They are exactly the liquid lipstick formulation that I gravitate towards. I really love something very hydrating, something blurring, something easy to work with, and something that's going to reapply on itself really nicely. I think that when it comes to liquid lipsticks, the less fuss, the better, honestly, because liquid lipsticks are already a little bit more high maintenance than something like a gloss or a lip oil, you know, or even a bullet lipstick. So I want something that's going to give me the ease of use, and these are definitely it. I love how they blur the lip lines, and something that I'm super impressed with, again, is the fact that they already look diffused with minimal effort. They kind of just blend themselves out very thin and very very evenly to the point where you don't have to like go in with your finger and really perfect that diffuse look. It already gives it to you out of the tube, which is very, very interesting and intriguing to me. I like the doe foot applicator on this. It is smaller, so it gives you a lot of control and it has a very, very slight curve to it. So it slightly hugs the lips, but it still is flat enough to give you a lot of control. I will say for me and the effect that I wanted, I did dip into the tube about once more whenever I was applying these because I want a lot of like bold color to it, you know? You could definitely wear these very diffuse and very lightweight. However, I felt like these colors I wanted to show you guys the full pigmentation and how they wear and like the potential that these shades have on the lips I truly love this formulation I think that it is absolutely very airy super whipped and one of the thinnest if not the thinnest velvety satiny ultra satin formulation that I've tried. They are slightly staining, especially when you get into those more reddish toned shades. So be warned of that. If that's something that you like, you'll definitely like that about these. I will update in the description box down below for you guys how they wear throughout the day since I'm going to have to test that out as the day progresses. But if you can see on the back of my hand, there's definitely some staining there. So I have a feeling that it's going to do pretty well. They don't feel drying whatsoever. They're very comfortable on the lips and they look super diffused and my lip lines look pretty much gone or filled in and I love that. That is what I look for when it comes to liquid lipsticks. I do not want to see lip lines at all. <laughs> now I want to talk a little bit about another lipstick formulation that I have and I've tried before from them and they are these. I actually have all of the shades right here. They come in eight different shades. These are the Flawless Jade Shine Liquid Lipsticks. Now to give you guys a couple of bullet points on these, these are going to give you a mirror-like shine finish and they're liquid lipstick as well. They're supposed to be long-lasting and transfer proof ultra lightweight and non-sticky and they have extracts to nourish the lips as well. So these are very reminiscent to a glossy lip stain and they feel ultra hydrating and they're very, very smooth on the lips as well. I've worn these before and I really like the effect that they give you. Let me actually put one of these shades on so you guys can kind of see it. So I'm gonna put on the shade 301 and this one is called Honey Bean and it's described as a brick red shade. So as you guys can see, a lot more glossy than the ultra satin lipsticks. This one gives you really nice pigmentation, but you can build it up. So these go on a little bit more sheer and then you can build it up as you go. They have a very lightweight feel to them as well, but it definitely is a different sort of lightweight than the ultra smooth satin liquid lipsticks. So this one feels very slick and like a very light, almost watery texture to 
to them whereas the satin lipsticks definitely feel more like a whipped liquid lipstick but they still both feel very light on the lips the jade shine liquid lipsticks actually do have a pretty strong scent to it it doesn't linger too long like it lasts for a couple of minutes it's almost like this floral scent you know and then after a while it does fade but be careful because if you get this in your mouth, you can kind of taste it and it's not the most pleasant taste, but these ultra satin ones, they don't seem to have any sort of scent. So obviously very big difference with these two, but the pigmentation on them is there. You can diffuse both of them and they'll both give you a very different sort of diffuse look, but these jade shines are nice and pigmented. If you're a fan of the Rare Beauty lip oils, like if you tried those, you would probably really like these. These are just as pigmented, just as shiny, and they have a really good selection of shades as well. I really love lip products that feel like water when you put them on. I put some more on and I really built up that shade. Gorgeous. Now let's blot some off and see what it looks like. Left me with a really pretty stained look right here. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a rundown. So if you do already own these Jade Shines, you can kind of compare the new Ultra Satin Liquid Lipsticks to them. Very different effects. So I definitely think both of them are worth picking up and trying out to see which one you want to wear for different occasions and like different days, you know, because sometimes I really want a glossy lip and other times I want something that kind of just looks like a lived in lip stain. Overall, I love this new launch. I love these Ultra satin liquid lipsticks I think that they're so versatile you can wear them for a really fun occasion or you can just wear them down for an everyday type of look I'd say my top three shades would be obviously s145 which is the shade red lantern I really like the shade s501 gentle strength I think this one is such a pretty everyday shade and then s140 which is Phoenix I think that that one is a really beautiful shade and super wearable when it comes to a red. I wanna say thank you again to Florisys for sending these products and allowing me to try out this new formulation and provide these swatches for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.